These works last about two years and uh, of course they encourage people to step inside because it feels completely different when you're uh, traveling through the sculpture. You know, you're kind of surrounded in a way by uh, prehistory and uh, pre-architecture and you know it, it brings up lots of associations of playing in the woods as a child or seeing a bird nest outside your kitchen window. You know sculptures embody ideas and it's nice to have a change of ideas once in a while you know so you don't have to endure a sculpture for you know 15-20 years because uh, sculpture does use up its spot. You can move it and it is re-engendered but uh, after a while people stop seeing their surroundings so fully so you know, having this piece there and then celebrating maybe its ending, uh, you might get more out of it than if it stayed there for 15 years. Well, this is a very, very nice piece. I like it quite a lot. It's got three towers. We have a wall running around in there. That'll be a bit exciting because it'll look like it's kind of moving from one place to another, kind of implied motion. And some buttresses to the wall that turned out to be little cabanas that people can walk in and out of. It leaves a kind of uh, serration along the edge so that you feel like, uh, you know, there's a little bit more to see. I think a good sculpture is one that causes lots of personal associations that um, people remember, they're awakened. The uh, expansion of the ability to feel and to experience new things. So if you uh, experience a good sculpture, often it just awakens uh, your feelings about a lot of other peripheral uh, ideas and, and experiences.